Today we're going to talk about a project we feel very dearly about since we've been covering this since almost five years and uh, today we're reaching the penultimate steps before a very special watch will be put on auction in Hong Kong on May the 30th by Christie's. This project is Naissance d'une Montre and is the result of an amazing collaboration between Grebel Forcet, Philippe Dufour and a very special student, Michel Boulanger and also Christie's that have been an important partner on this one. So the goal of Naissance du Monde was to realize a watch entirely by hand using traditional techniques, but furthermore it was also to document this entire endeavor. Today we have a very exciting uh, step in the project of Naissance du Montre. Uh, we are delighted, uh, thanks to the dedication of Michel and the whole uh, team behind the project, we've got the school watch here, which is now uh, in its uh, completed phase. It's the very first piece that Michel has made using and practicing when he'd succeeded with each different technique to build this, uh, this piece. So um, it's a very important milestone in the project. But it isn't the end, it's just the, a step in the project because we have so much more to do. Because now Michel has collected together this know-how and he's been able to practice it himself but this needs to be reaffirmed, so it needs to be repeated and that's where the 11 uh, subsequent pieces will come in and then uh, of course the whole idea of that is to widen the, this, uh, the appeal, widen the uh, awareness of the project, of the loss of know-how and then to be able to transmit this know-how. The last time we talked about this Naissance d'une Monde project, the ultimate phase that still needed to be done was the actual finishing of the watch. So let's hear Séverine Vitali on how she supervised Michel on this. Michel ne connaissait pas cette patience de la décoration, donc il a fallu lui montrer chaque étape, petit à petit, lui montrer comment l'outil travaille, comment l'outil réagit sur la matière et euh, pour lequel, euh, pour, pourquoi on ne doit pas se précipiter, aller passer, on doit passer étape par étape euh, pour, euh, pour arriver à un résultat tel qu'on le recherche chez Grand Forcet où euh, on cherche toujours la, la perfection et si on se va bah, trop vite, on, on manque une étape ou on n'est pas assez précis sur une et on le retrouve à la fin. Le résultat il est waouh wow. On a une profondeur, les, 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 flancs, les flancs polis de chaque pont donnent une profondeur, une, un relief. Et c'est vrai que c'est est beau, on est assez fiers. This piece, uh, we are very delighted to be able to offer it uh, in, uh, to a, a happy collector, we believe. Um, in the, with the partnership of Christie's. Christie's approached us after the uh, SIHH of 2015 and uh, said what about making a, a partnership and they wanted to come on board with the project. So this was uh, fantastic for us. It's what Robert, uh, particularly myself and Philippe Dufour, we had wanted to do. We wanted to get the community, the watchmaking community, to realize that we are losing this know-how and to do something. So Christie's approached us and they said, what about we do uh, an exceptional sale and we, we sell at auction the school watch. And this was just uh, a crazy idea. We've been here uh, for uh, 250 years, obviously, and we really uh, celebrate and, and uh, emphasize on, on, on the history. And the history of watchmaking is obviously something we're very fond of. So when, when uh, Grebel and Mr. Dufour told us about uh, the project, of course we had to be part of it. The public loves it. They always ask about the watch. They want to know where, when, what, where. Uh, so we have a lot of questions. We have a lot of interest. We have people chasing us for, for more information. The estimates, what's exactly so special about the watch. What about the other models, the regular edition, can they buy it, etc. So yes, it, it brings a lot of questions. For me, it's, it's the best representation of what the human hand can achieve and if you just give the, the time, if you have enough patience, dedication, obviously savoir faire and this is what the whole point of this watch is, uh, tradition, you can, you can achieve great things. 
Christie's, uh, we've been able to, over the last uh, 12, uh, 15 months, we've done a number of uh, dinners for collectors together in uh, four or five locations around the world where we were able to talk about the project and they, could, they helped us by bringing also some of their uh, favorite collectors in and um, so we could have this exchange and that's where for us we also saw uh, that the importance of the project for the collector. So Christie's uh, by uh, in the action of uh, organizing the, the uh, auction of this piece uh, on the 30th of May in Hong Kong uh, will uh, contribute back to the foundation their whole commission. So this is a, this is a big contribution important of course uh, uh, in terms of that support but also important in terms of the image. Christie's have uh, a whole department of education so they are also very very concerned and uh, they understand uh, the problematic that we're, we're dealing with. So again, this very special and unique watch will be put on auction on May the 30th in Hong Kong by Christie's. It's going to be interesting to see what price it attains. But before that, hats off to the entire team that worked on this project. This is really something cool.